We're back out here on Fishing Planet, and today we're going to be trying to catch some big channel cats. And also, there's some largemouth bass out here as well. So, what we're going to be using is we have crayfish, we have cut bait, and we have shiners. So, let's see what we can catch. This is my first time fishing in this location here. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to turn out. We're throwing number two hooks. As I said before, we have cut bait, we have small cut bait, we have medium cut bait, and we even have crayfish. Basically, there's a deep hole maybe about 10 feet out from us, halfway between us and those lily pads out there. So that's where we pretty much want to be. We don't want to be super far out. If you look at the map, you can see the spot is only like right there. Super, super close to us. And meanwhile, I'm going to be throwing this buzz bait out there to try and potentially catch some nice largemouth. There's some lily pads right out there, and if we can throw right over the top of the lily pads there. Didn't quite throw it far enough, but not bad. This time I want to try and throw it. You know what's cool about buzz baits is you can actually reel them right across the top of the lily, lily pads like that. It is so awesome. We had a spot um, up in northern Michigan where my parents had a cabin and there was a lake there. We would throw buzz baits right over the top of lily pads like that and you would think you would get snagged and right after it went over the top of it, it all of a sudden just It's just the coolest thing ever. That's whoa, fish on, fish on! Which one is it? Oh my god, both of them. Both, no, 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 the other one, the other one, the other one. Two, 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 dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, we got a fish on here. I don't know if that's the same one. All right, let's just get this thing quick here. It's a catfish. Yes, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Nice 24 inch cat. There we go. There we go. Come on, get two, get two. Fish on, fish on. All right, here we go. Should be another cat, hopefully. Yep, head shake of a cat. It's definitely a cat. There we go. Another cat in the boat. There we go. 22 inch, five pounder. Awesome. That is so cool. That's what we want. We want some nice cats out here, guys. Hopefully we can get a trophy cat. That would be absolutely ideal, but we'll see what happens. For now, I'll take a nice 20 inch cat all day long. All right, so we got one on cut bait. What was the other one on? Crayfish, we caught that one on a crayfish. So medium cut bait and one on crayfish. A little too far out, so we're gonna reel it back and then we'll set it down right there. And let's cast back out there. That was awesome. We had two fish at the same time. And that was cool. Meanwhile, let's see if we can get a nice bass. I can go far enough over the top of those lily pads there. There we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Just like that right there. Absolutely money. And they come out right on the back side of that and they just pound it. The perfect cast. You guys ever see the Goofy movie? It's so good. Swing around. Wind up. And let her fly. I mean, I know I can catch bass on spoons, but like I can't catch them on anything else. I'm going to try this jerk bait here. Too heavy. How about the walker? All right, we're using the walker. We're throwing the walker out there. We're going more top water. I mean, if there's bass here, they got to hit this. Fun fact, I caught my biggest smallmouth bass ever on a bait that's exactly like this. A walker just like this. We call it a spook. A Zara spook. We're getting a swirl there. Seems like there's a fish on it, isn't there? No? Dang. These bass are hard to get to hit. Look at 11 o'clock. It's like just barely getting prime time here. We have another three, four hours of excellent time for fishing. So we should be getting some hits. I mean, at least one. We got those two catfish right away, but why can I not catch a bass? You're telling me there's no bass out here? 
Maybe I'll try this way more. I can't go any anymore that way. I guarantee if I put a gold spoon on, I'll catch one. But I absolutely do not want to use a gold spoon. Because that's not how you fish bass. I don't know anybody that fishes bass with spoons. <laughs> that's musky, northern, lake trout, salmon. Oh, finally! That was definitely a fish. That was definitely a fish swirl. I don't know if it was a big one or not, but it was definitely some kind of fish. If it was small, I suppose we don't really want to catch it anyways. Wow. Nothing. Are you seeing this? I mean nothing. You're talking prime casts and everything. Prime location, prime weather. Perfect twitch. We cannot get a single bass to hit this. Are we getting a hit finally? Yes, 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 yes. Finally, we're getting a hit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a freaking big fish. Oh my God. No. Dude, I messed up big time. Oh man, must have accidentally put the wrong line on here. That was a big fish. Busted that 10 pound test like it wasn't even there. I have all these 40 pound tests here and somehow I ended up putting on 10 pound test on this rod, which I don't know why. But somehow we did that. Wait a second. How is this line too strong for the rod? That doesn't make sense. Well, what if we go 20 pound? You're still telling me? I can't even put 20 pound test on this? For the rod? It's a heavy action rod. Why can I not? Is it the real? Is that the problem? You know what? I'm putting 20 pound test on that rod. I don't care what this stupid thing says. What an absolute joke. That is so dumb. And now you're saying it's too light. Okay, so the line is too strong. But the sinker is too light. Like, make up your freaking mind. Oh, it's too heavy. I got a backup rod, but I can't switch it out to the first spot, I don't think. Tell me I can buy some more sinkers from here. How did I know I couldn't buy any more sinkers from here? First off, my line is too strong for the rod, but then the sinker is too heavy for the rod, but then the other one is too light for the rod. There's no such thing as too heavy and too light. If it works, it works. I mean, here's the thing. This rod is a power heavy. It's a heavy action rod. That means you should definitely be able to put 20 pound test on this rod. And it's saying that it's too, too heavy. Now, I can't even use the rod. Wait, I can still use it. Even though it said it's too light or whatever. The cast will be short. Okay, then be short. That's fine. Or, risk of damage. Whatever. Let's risk the damage. At this point, we got way more things to worry about. Is this the one we want? Okay, I don't care anymore. Just let me throw this out there and catch some freaking fish. I'm pretty sure this was small cut bait.
Had to have been, yeah. That's three. Do I even have a leader? Yeah, I need a leader too. That fish busted the line so fast. It was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this is too heavy. It might damage it. Well, let's take a cast out there and see what happens. If it's too heavy, we can easily just put a smaller sinker on. That was a horrible cast. <laughs> you ever put a super heavy sinker on a rod like that and just cast it out? I feel like you can just cast it and it launches like forever. It's just like... <laughs> I mean, you literally can burn out your whole spool from one cast if you have a heavy sinker on a rod like that. <laughs> it's so awesome though. All right, so we should be able to catch a fish on that. Unfortunately, we lost that big fish. That was my bad kind of because somehow I put on 10 pound test on that rod, but I guess maybe that's because it made me put it on that rod. But I also put um, my heavy rod, my heaviest rod in a slot where it wasn't available. So that could be my problem too. Like I do have a perfect rod that we could use and it's all set up and everything, which is in slot four. But since I only have three rod holders, I haven't been using it. But in this case here, see, check this out. This is perfect. Wait, what's the weight on this sinker now? Three and a half ounces. But what if I use this sinker on the other rod? That could work. I bet that would work. But anyways, I think I'm just going to cast this out there. I'm kind of over trying to catch bass right now. Because they are not hitting very well. We literally have a way better chance at catching catfish or even maybe even a northern pike than trying to catch a largemouth at this point because I don't know I threw out quite a bit of different baits out there you guys didn't see all my casts but I probably took like 60 70 casts out there and never got a single hit one time might have gotten a follow-up but that's it I mean eventually I might put a gold spoon on and cast out there just so I can say we caught one but no Dude! Oh, there we go, fish on! Alright, I think this is the same fish that- well, not the same fish, but this is definitely the same pole we had last time. It should be a nice cat. Let's just reel him in right to shore. <laughs> that was cool. That was so realistic how we pulled- that is not a cat. It's a bowfin. Well, I guess we'll take the 90 bucks, 24 inch bowfin. I wonder if that's what snapped our line before. All right, you made me do it. You made me do it. I'm putting on a gold spoon to show you guys that we can catch some bass. And you really had to say that, didn't you? The spoon is too heavy for the bass. Well, we're still gonna use it anyways. Or maybe not. Okay. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. I can't even cast. Like this game gets me more frustrated than any fishing or hunting game that I've ever played. Because at least in Call of the Wild or another fishing game, you can just fish with whatever lure you want doesn't have to be to the exact decimal point of the ounce in order to throw it out in the freaking water. This is made for northern pike. But apparently, that's what we're supposed to use to catch largemouth bass. There we go, there we go. Hit, 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 hit. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, oh let's back the drag up on that one. Oh my god, that's a freaking giant fish. 
forgot to check my drag out. Okay. <gasps> Dude, this fish is ridiculously big. Like, my rod is going to break in half. I can't believe how big this fish is. I'm not even looking at the tension, but I can't even imagine what it's at right now. Like, oh my god. Please don't break my rod. Oh. This might be the biggest fish we've ever caught in out here. This is absolutely unbelievable. The amount of torque that this fish is putting on this rod. You better get the dip net out and get that thing. Oh. Come on, get him up! Get him up! It's a big cat, yes! There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Trophy Channel Cat, 28 inch, 11.8 pound Trophy Channel Cat. That's what we've been wanting this whole time. And we got it, baby. Woo! Oh man, that's awesome. Looks like we're about to get another cat as well. But um, I do in fact want to get a cool picture of this. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm just going to have to keep it and go for two because this is going to be another good fish. Woo! <laughs> That's another big fish. Hopefully it's another channel cat. It was so weird why the guy didn't hold that channel cat. Oh, it's another cat. Yes. Not a big one, but 23 inch, six pound. I'll definitely take it. It's so weird that the guy doesn't hold it, you know, um, like horizontal. So you can take a really nice picture of it. Like he's holding it, as you can see, vertical. And you just can't really get a good picture of it like that. It's nah. But hey, there we go. Two cats back to back. And we finally got our trophy channel cat. I'm super happy about that. I was going to say, if we caught one more bowfin, I was probably going to have to do something about that. But then, sure enough, we get a massive trophy channel cat. But if you ask me right now, I'd honestly have to tell you that there's absolutely no largemouth bass in this river. I don't know who went down there and did the surveying of this river and said that there's bass down there, but... Oh my god! Well... Caught something. A chain pickerel. Not exactly a bass, but hey, action is action. That was pretty cool. Finally caught something. We're finally getting a hit on the first rod. This might be a bass. It's on the crayfish. So it might be. It's a bowfin. Wait, it's a trophy blackhead. I mean, a trophy black bullhead. A trophy bullhead. I can't believe I called it a trophy blackhead. That's not what I meant. Trophy black bullhead. So that's kind of cool because it's similar to a catfish, I suppose. 18 incher, 3.7 pounds. Yeah, that's cool. At least we caught something other than a bowfin on this. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a ton of fun fishing. It was extremely difficult, but it definitely paid off in the end when we caught that trophy catfish. That's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.